Hello everyone, this is Hoda Ganji. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can separate the odd and even rows of a list in Dynamo in Revit. So I'm going to open a new file. I want to go with metric architectural template or you can go with default metric. Type UN. I want to change the units to meters, three decimal places. And under manage, I want to open Dynamo. Uh, let's open a new file. I want to uh, set some points. So I want to go to geometry points, point by coordinates, XYZ. And uh, let's say I have a sequence assigned to X and one sequence, you can hit Ctrl C, Ctrl V, assigned to Z. Uh, if I change the a lacing to cross product, I'm going to have a grid. Let's say maybe the amount that we have on the X direction is different than Z. So I can bring an integer slider. Okay. Uh, let's say at minimum, this is going to be three. At maximum, it's going to be 20. Okay. That goes to the amount here. And I want to go with Control C, Control V, and I want to assign a different value to the amount on the Z. I also want to bring a number slider. So I want to right click and bring a number slider. Uh, this is going to be my step size. Maybe it's going to be between 0.1 to 1. And that goes to the step size. And I want to have the same step size on the two directions for now. Uh, so, so far I have a grid of points. I can make a group and rename it as grid of points. And next I want to separate the odd and even rows. So, I want to go to the list menu, inspect. What I'm interested in is get the item at index. So I want to separate items at specific index. If I connect point to list, now I just need to assign an index. How does it work? It needs an integer, right? So if I say, let's say one, assign it to index, it's going to actually uh, select one of them and show it here, right? Now, uh, first, I want to assign a range of indexes okay so i'll go to list generate range right so let's see i want to uh, count how many items i have so i also want to go with uh, list uh, inspect and count so i want to connect this list this point to list and this to my end maybe so i have 15 items here so the range right now goes from 0 to 16, but I have 15 items. So I have to actually reduce this by 1. So I want to go with uh, C minus 1 because uh, we have one more additional item here. And count goes to C. Now it has 15 items, which is good. And I want to go with every other node. So it's going to go with the even ones here. So if I connect list to index, it's going to only select the ones which are actually under even numbers, right? Now, if I go with another one to get the odd ones, I need to go with another range. Uh, everything is the same except that this time I want the star to be 1 instead of 0. So this one is giving me actually the odd numbers, right? So if I hide the original points, you see that I have rows 0, 2, 4 and so on, as well as rows 1, 3 and so on. So I want to uh, maybe group these. The first one, these are my even rows or columns. And the second one is giving me uh, the odd 
rows or columns. And next I want to maybe move these other ones by a little bit up. So I want to go with a move or translate and I want to move uh, maybe the odd rows by half of the step size. A step size is over there. So I want to go with S divided by 2. I want to connect my step size here and assign it to the Z translation. So if I hide this, now you see that my grid is moving up uh, every other column, right? And then I want to uh, combine these two in one list so I can uh, assign cuboids. Maybe it's going to show my brickwork, right? So under geometry solids, I want to go with cuboids. I want to go with by length. As soon as you assign list to origin, it's going to create the cuboids. Now let's say we're going to assign different values to width, height, and uh, length. I want to assign maybe 0.2. Let's see which one it is. If I assign it to length, this is the thickness. Uh, and to the height, maybe I can assign 0.2 and then we'll see how it works. Okay. Maybe I can assign 0.4 or 0.5. And uh, let's say maybe for the width, we have a bigger value. So I want to assign maybe 1.5, 1.4, something to the width. So maybe this is some kind of brickwork that you are looking for. So this is an example of how we can separate uh, different rows. I want to make a group here and I want to rename it as my uh, brickwork. If I pin this, you see that we have actually three sets of lists, right? So I want to maybe flatten this to get rid of some extra lists before importing into Revit. Now it's only one list with two levels. So if I import this by geometries, they all will become one geometry as long as this is all in one list, which says L2, L1. So let's import it. And now you see all of the items are imported as one geometry in Revit. Uh, and then I would suggest that change this to manual. And then we can adjust the scale because in Revit 2022, it imports in feet for some reason. I want to uh, assign the feet to meters value here. Now you see those are my objects. If I go with shaded, that's maybe some kind of brickwork that I was looking for.